Well, good morning everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. Hey, today I want to get on here and talk about 10 stupid little simple things that you need to keep in your Tacoma. Now these are little things that, you know, you're somewhere and you think, ah, why didn't I ever throw that in the truck? I need that. It'd be really handy to have. And then you forget about it until the next time that you're somewhere and you think, why didn't I do that the last time I thought about it? So I'm going to show you what these 10 things are, and I'm going to show you where I keep them as well. Here we go. All right, the first thing is a simple, cheapo tire gauge. Now, let me tell you first off, I've had, I don't know how many different tire gauges, three, four thousand, I don't know, a lot. And the cheapest ones always work the best. I've had the expensive ones, I've had the digital ones, you know, where you stick on there and it, it yells out your tire pressure. I actually ran over one once, that didn't last long. But the cheapest ones are the best ones. They're always what I find the most accurate. And if you lose one, you just pick up another one. It didn't cost you much. Now, the important reason, or the reason you need this is because how many times have you been somewhere, you got a little light flips on. Your tire's low, one of your tires are low. If you're lucky, you have a readout that actually shows you which one and what the pressure is. But, you're gonna pull into a gas station, right? And anymore, these lovely gas stations, they charge you for air, right? You gotta put a quarter in, or a buck, or a credit card, or something. You get going, you're pumping it up, if it works, and their gauge doesn't work. So you really have no idea how much air you've put in. I mean, you're paying for it. If you have this with you, you wouldn't have to guess. You could just check it yourself. Now, let me show you where I keep it. As I said, um, I keep it out of the way for the most part because, you know, you're not going to use this often. Whoops, hopefully. Uh, and if you do, you probably have a tire problem. But what I do, I just keep mine right inside here in the glove box, right here on the edge. So it's always within arm's reach. I can just reach in, grab it, go check my tire pressure, and I am done. A pen and some paper. Now, you might say these days with the advent of the note feature on cell phones, you can just get in there and type stuff in. But it's much quicker and easier if you do it with a pen and paper, I gotta say. And I'll give you an example. For me, you know, I'm always running to Lowe's for something, right? And I need some kind of a measurement, you know? So I gotta go into Lowe's or I'm gonna be in the truck and I wanna write down what it is that I'm looking for. Or maybe add things to it or whatever. Or maybe you draw a picture. You know, if I'm writing out dimensions or something and I want to see exactly what I'm doing, I want to write it down on something, you know? Or if I'm in the store and they've got something, if I can't take a picture of it or whatever, I want to be able to write it down. I don't know how many times I've been somewhere and I asked Krista, my wife, why don't you hand me a pen? Well, she doesn't have a pen, but I don't have a pen, so I just can't do it. So let me show you where I keep this stuff. So let's go ahead, jump back in. A lot of in and outing of the truck today. All right, let's uh, hoist ourselves on up here. There we go. All right, we're in here at the center console area, right here. And what I do, or where I always put it, let me get you guys in the right hand here, is right here in the center. Because it's handy, it's out of the way, it's right here if I need it, no big deal. And then the pin, of course, the center console comes with this pin holder here. And these big pins work really well, and the cap kind of holds them in there. So you just snap it in, like so, and that's it. There's your pen, there's your paper down there, and you are ready to roll. Okay, next up, and this is such a simple thing, and these are usually free. Napkins. How many times have you dribbled something or spilt something or something like that in your truck and you're you're frantically looking around trying to find a napkin to wipe something up or you got junior or a juniorette in the back there and like i need a kleenex you look back there and you don't want to see the horror story that's going on back there you just want to hand them a kleenex or hand the wife a kleenex and say fix that kleenex napkins something you get them every time you go by the drive-thru if you need some extras, ask them. They'll give them to you. They're free. Now, I'm going to show you where I put these things. Uh, again, climbing back in the truck. 
These, of course, you want to keep uh, very handy. Now, there's two places uh, that you can keep these, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. And the first one is right here in the cubby area. Finally, a use for this crazy little thing, right? You just kind of fold up the napkin, you know, you don't have to be a super folder to do it. And you just kind of jam them in there, and there they are, right? You need them, you pull them out. Maybe you can put them in there a little neater if you're, uh, you know, concerned about that. The other place, of course, is again right here in the center console area. Hopefully this isn't something you're going to need frequently, so you just drop them down in there, close up your center console, and move on. Now, next up, and this is thanks to the advent of the, of the phone, the cell phone, is a charger, a charging cable, something you can plug into that nice little accessory, that little port or dock that you have inside the Tacoma to charge your cell phone. Now, I know people are telling me, yeah, but you got that cordless charger in there. Well, that cordless charger is kind of difficult to work when you've got your phone up on your dash and you're using it as a GPS to see where you're going. So, you have one of these old-fashioned cords, and I know sooner or later these things are gonna disappear, right? As these charging, wireless charging pads become more predominant, these are gonna be gone. But for now, it's nice to be able to have one of these to plug into the jack, plug into your phone. If you're like me, you have your phone on your suction cup holder on your windshield, using it as a GPS if you don't have navigation. I use this all the time in the Tundra. When we drove the Tundra from Ohio to Texas and back, I didn't have navigation in the truck. We used the cell phone. So you gotta have a place to, to store this. You gotta have one of these. Let me show you where I put mine. Here we go, scaling my super duper two or three inch lifted Tacoma. All right, right here, of course, again, in the center console area. Um, I just put it right here in the top. Leave it sit right there. That way it's always accessible if I need it. No big deal. And it's never going to get lost sitting there like that. Okay. Next up are jumper cables, or what I call jumper cables. I suppose the politically correct way to refer to them these days, because you wouldn't want to call them jumper cables, are booster cables. They even call them booster cables. But you gotta have a set of these. Now, a lot of people will say, why do I need these? I have roadside assistance. If something happens, I'll just call and they'll come and get me. And they probably will. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe four hours later, where if you had a set of these and all you're having is a battery problem, hopefully, you'll find some kind soul out there and there are tons of people that will help you do this. I've seen it many times myself out in the wild. But there are tons of kind souls out there that will give you a jump. And if that's all you need, the difference is maybe 10, 15 minutes, if somebody's close by, versus two to four hours waiting for a service to show up. You gotta have a set of these, and if you never use them, good for you, because I'll tell you, you never want to. So, let me show you where I keep these. Let's uh, go around to the rear this time. Uh, we do not keep these in the front seat. And we gotta lay these down here because it's hard to do this with only one hand. Okay, first of all, we gotta, that's where I'm gonna lay them right now, but that's not where they're gonna stay. Let's go ahead and put the seat up. Let's go ahead and put the seat down. And right back here, you'll notice, is that nice little open area. I don't have anything there. Well, I don't have anything there because I am going to have these there. They fit right in there. They fit in there nicely. And if they rattle around or anything, then just rearrange them or put some liner in there if it bothers you. But that way, you can have them back there, close your, uh, your seat there, and you never have to worry about them unless you need them. Next up, and this is a very, very handy tool. I don't know how many times I've been somewhere and wish I had something that I could cut with. Either because I want to open a package or maybe I just bought a new pair of sunglasses. You know, I got that tag that dangles down that's on there with that harder than steel little tab thing that you can never get off. 
Well, you need a knife. Some sort of a knife, some sort of cutting utensil in your center console area, which is where I store mine. Very handy. I have had a knife, I think, in every vehicle I've ever owned since I started driving some five or six years ago. But anyway, let me show you where I store my knife at inside the truck. Again, we have to, we're not going to climb in this time. We're just going to do a little bit of a lean. Right here in the center console area, we'll open this up. Right here on top, right there. Nice and accessible, very easy to get to, and uh, always there when I need it, if I need it. Next up, and this you might classify as a minor mod, maybe an accessory addition, and that is the center console tray. You know, these things are awesome for storing stuff. You can see in here, I've got my knife, I've got my pen, or a, I've got a spare pen. I've got my phone cable, I've got some change in here. And there's this little change holder. I don't want to dump it all out, but right there. And it's nice and light, it's nice and easy. It has a little slot where your cord can fit through if you need to have access underneath. It just helps you organize your stuff a little bit better. So. You probably can guess where this will go, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put in. Let me go ahead and get the door open this time. I don't know why I'm trying to do it with one hand and the camera and everything else, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and climb inside. Show you how simple this is to install. Go ahead and open up the center console. That would help. Let's go ahead and slip it in. It just kind of angles in like so. There's all my junk in there. Again, change, my phone cord that I mentioned earlier, spare pen, um, my knife, all that good stuff. Nice and neatly organized right here so that when I do need it, I can find it. Okay, next up are gloves. Now these, you might notice, have a reflective uh, finish on the one side, this night bright, bright orange. So they serve a dual purpose. If you're outside, it's the middle of the night, you get a flat tire, you're trying to change your tire, and you don't want to be run over by somebody coming the other way, it might be nice to have a little reflective action going on. But, why these are important, let's say you get that flat tire. I mean, if you have soft, supple office hands like I do, they've never gone away. It's very nice to have these to protect your hands while you're screwing around with your tire. Secondly, it's dirty. Now. What I want to mention about that, a lot of us are particular about keeping the interior of the truck clean. So go outside on a rainy, muddy night, change a flat tire, and see what your hands look like when you get back in the truck. Not to mention the rest of your body, probably. But if you're wearing gloves, you can take these things off. If they're bad enough, buy cheap, by the way. Because if they're bad enough, just toss them. Get a new pair. If not, throw them back in for the next time. They'll help protect your hands, they'll help keep you clean, and in this case, they'll help you be seen. Speaking of seen, let's go take a look at where I actually keep these at. We'll go ahead and pop open the door here. Now, one thing I love about the Tacoma, of course, is the under seat storage. We'll go ahead and open that puppy up, and look at all that room in there, just waiting for more stuff. Go ahead and throw the gloves in there so that if we do need them, they're there, out of the way, but they are there. I hope you've been paying attention because we are nearing the end. We are at number nine now. Number nine, bungee cords. Bungee cords. You can never have enough bungee cords in your truck. It never fails. You need them for something. I mean, it is a truck, right? There may come a time when you actually are going to haul something. And trust me, from prior experience, I've had one experience where I thought something was so heavy, I don't need to tie it down. I put it in the back of the truck and it was, it was a Tacoma, uh, my blue one that I had prior to, uh, before this model. And it was one of those big giant lawn sweepers. The wind caught it and the damn thing blew out of the truck. It was a horrid experience. Why I didn't tie it down? I don't know. Bungee cords, you've got to have these, these things with you. They come in handy all the time and they're so simple to store. Speaking of that, let me show you where I keep these. Let's go ahead and uh, pull you guys around to the back. There we go. Whoops. 
it's a close-up view for you now of course once again we have the handy dandy under seat storage where we just put our gloves so let's go ahead and pop that puppy open camera's not focusing for some reason I don't know why let's throw these right here on top of the gloves because frankly I will use bungee cords more often than gloves and one other note I'll say uh, about having the gloves is if you need to load something in the truck let's say you're going to pick something up or drop something off very nice to have gloves to protect your hands when you're doing that but for this bungee cords gotta have a set of good bungee cords in your truck we are to the final item number 10 and that is an umbrella you've got to have an umbrella in your truck again i don't know how many times i've been somewhere and it starts to pour down rain and i don't have my umbrella now it doesn't matter if you're just out bumming around but what about that day where you're all dressed up for an important meeting or work or a date something like that and it starts raining like crazy or maybe coming out of the restaurant you want to impress her and plow out your umbrella well you can't do that if you don't have it with you now this is one of those little compact models you can see in this case it's kind of the the cheetah de design i guess I, I don't know leopard maybe makes it more masculine but they're very compact very simple to manipulate uh you just pull out the handle like so and unstrap it you got to be unstrapped and then just push it up like so how about that huh the umbrella let me show you where i put this thing i gotta be honest with you it was a fight to get this thing back in the case you may never want to take it out it might just be uh, a one-time use and then get another one i don't know but anyway let's take a look right here is where i keep mine right inside the door so of case of course rather if it starts to rain and i need the crazy thing there it is it doesn't block my cup holder here so if i need to put a drink or something there i'm still okay and it sits in there pretty well so no issues okay so there are 10 handy things that i think in my opinion imo you need to keep in your tacoma you're always going to need this stuff at some point it always comes up how do i know because i've been there on every one every time anyway leave a comment down below let me know what you think of my group of must-have things that you've got to keep in your tacoma did i miss something did i put too much are you too manly to carry an umbrella let me know anyway appreciate you guys watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time on the web have a great day bye